This glass you have a problem using gas idle method. This is the even power system network. This network consists of three buses. Bus one is a generator bus. Voltage is given 1.03 plus J0. Bus two is a load bus. Load is 150 plus J50. Bus three is a load bus. Load is 90 plus J50. Line series impedances are given. Half line charging impedances are given. Acceleration factor alpha is equal to 1.2. Base MBA is equal to 100. The question is calculate the line losses and also calculate the slab bus power. First step we have to form the Y bus matrix. Here the off line charging impedances are given. Y11 is equal to Y12 plus Y13 plus offline charging impedance J.06 plus J.04. So Y11 is equal to 13.1207 minus J18.8012. This is the value. Y22 is equal to this admittance plus this admittance plus offline charging admittance y22 is equal to 16.2241 minus j31.5998 y33 is equal to this admittance plus this admittance plus this offline charging admittance y33 is equal to 16.8966 minus j47.2014 this is the diagonal elements we have to calculate the off diagonal elements. So this is the Y bus matrix of the system. The line series admittance is Y12 is 6.2241 minus J1.6598. This line series admittance that is 13. 13 is 6.8966 minus J17.2414. Y23 series admittance is 10 minus J30. Second step we have to initialize the bus voltages. One voltage is given 1.93 plus J0 per unit. Bus 2 voltage is 1 plus J0 per unit. Bus 3 voltage is 1 plus J0 per unit. Next we have to calculate P2. P2 is a power generation in the load bus is 0 because it is a load bus. Therefore 0 minus 1.5 base MBA is given 100. Therefore it is 1.5. P2 is equal to minus 1.5, QT is equal to minus 0.5. Similarly, P3 is equal to minus 0.9, Q3 is equal to minus 0.5. The third step we have to calculate the V2 and V3. The first iteration V2 value formula is 1 by Y22 into P2 minus JQ2 by V2 conjugate minus Y21 into V1 minus Y23 into V3. We know all the values. Substitute all the values in this equation. First iteration V2 value is 0.9726 minus J 0.0299 per unit. Here alpha value is given. Therefore we have to find the difference. The difference is calculated value minus assumed value. The difference is minus 0.0274 minus J 0.0299 per unit. Okay. The next we have to apply the acceleration factor. V1 first iteration accelerated value is assumed value 1 plus J0 plus alpha 1.2 into the difference. So first iteration V2 accelerated value is 0 0.9671 minus J0.0359 per unit. Similarly we have to find the value of V3. Y by sorry 1 by Y33 into P3 minus JQ3 by V3 conjugate minus Y31 into V1 minus Y32 into V2. You know all the values. Substitute all the values in this equation. First iteration V3 value is 0.9761 minus J0.0353. Again we have to find the difference. Calculated value minus assumed value. The difference is minus 0.0239 minus J0.0353 per unit. We have, again we have to apply the acceleration factor alpha. V3 accelerated value that is V3 First iteration accelerated value is assumed value 1 plus J0 plus acceleration factor 1.2 into the difference. First iteration V3 accelerated value is 0 0.9713 minus J0.0424 per unit. 
The first iteration V2 value is 0.9671 minus J 0.9359 per unit. V3 is equal to 0.9713 minus J 0.9424 per unit. Next we have to calculate the line losses. The general formula is SIK is equal to VA into VA conjugate minus VK conjugate into YIK that is series admittance conjugate plus modulus of VA square into YPI conjugate that is the half line charging admittance conjugate. Okay, here I is equal to 1, K is equal to 2. S12 is equal to V1 into V1 conjugate minus V2 conjugate into Y12 conjugate plus modulus of V1 square into Y10 conjugate. Substitute all the values in this equation. P is equal to 46.46 megawatt. Q is equal to minus 18.63 megavolt ampere reactive. The same way we can calculate S21. Here I is equal to 2K is equal to 1. Substitute all the values in this equation. P is equal to minus 43.2 megawatts. Q is equal to 7.51 megavolt ampere reactive. We know S12 and S21. We can calculate the line loss. That is line in the 1-2 line. That is S12 plus S21. That is equal to 3.26 megawatts real power loss. Reactive power loss is minus 11.52 megavolt ampere reactive. In the same way we can calculate S13. Here I is equal to 1, K is equal to 3. P is equal to 116.99 uh, megawatts. Q is equal to 69.88 megavolt ampere reactive. Again, we have to calculate S31. Here I is equal to 3, K is equal to 1. Again, substitute all the values in this equation. P is equal to minus 113.88 megawatts. Q is equal to minus 68.86 megavolt ampere reactive. The loss in the line 13 is S13 plus S31. That is, real power loss is 3.11 megawatts. Reactive power loss is 1.02 megavolt ampere reactive. The same way we can calculate the line loss in the 23 and the 32. And these two will get the line loss in the line 23. Next we will calculate slant bus power. That is, v S1 is equal to V1 conjugate into Y11 into V1 plus Y12 into V2 plus Y13 into V3. Substitute all the values in this equation. Slant bus power is 1.6346 minus J.5125 per unit. Simply we can add S12 plus S13. We will get the same answer. This way we have to calculate the line losses and the slant bus power. Thanks for listening.